Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm making bento for my daughter and my wife. First, I'm gonna make rice. I cook only for one cup, which is enough for two. Wash a little bit and ready to be cooked. First, I'm going to make a kimpira gobo, a dish I call kimpira gobo. That's uh, today I'm making it with uh, carrots and the root vegetable called uh, gobo. Gobo is a type of vegetable that we have. Uh, it's a root vegetable. Kimpira gobo is a typical Japanese food that we not only put in the bento but we also cook for dinner as well. Um, kimpira is usually made with carrots and uh, gobo but we just sometimes make it just only with the uh, carrots or just the gobo. Or you can make it with other vegetables. Usually we make it with the root uh, vegetables like carrots, gobo, maybe you can make it with daikon. Okay, this is the gobo, the root vegetables. It covered with the dirt. So I need to wash it first. You can buy gobo, which are already washed like this, white. But I tend, I prefer to buy the one with the dirt. It, I, I feel, I think it tastes better, and also it can last longer in the fridge. First, I cut again, slice the gobo to make it easier. I cut it in half. It's not too hard, but it's harder than carrot. So in order for me to cook pretty much the same time, I slice gobo much thinner than carrots. After you cut gobo like this, could, it changes color quickly to brown, even white part. So some people put um, the water with a little vinegar. And if you put gobo into the water with the vinegar, then gobo stays white as it is. But today I just skipped it because too much work. Now I'm gonna put sesame oil. It's light. Sesame oil that I need. We also have dark sesame oil, but I usually use it at the end of the dish. Just pour it a little bit. But when you like pan fry like this, I use light sesame oil. I think smell the sesame gets too strong if you use a dark sesame oil. So I cook for five minutes. Uh, keep stirring until it soften. Now I'm gonna put some uh, rice wine. It's a sake. This is this sake is just for only for cooking. You can drink it; it still tastes okay. But I use it for uh, just for cooking. It's a mirin. Uh, it's a sweet rice wine.
and I put again a little bit brown sugar. Mirin is sweet, uh, so maybe you don't need to put sugar. But my kids like sweet, so I just put a little bit more sugar to sweeten. Meanwhile, I've started to cook tamagoyaki, a dish called tamagoyaki, which is the sweet egg omelette. This is very typical for, uh, for us to put in bento. So it's sweet egg omelette, so we put a little bit of sugar. A little bit of salt. And milk. Cow milk. To make it soft, fluffy. To make it a little bit colorful, I put uh, parsley. This is the flat parsley that I got from the farmer in Japan. I buy many of my vegetables directly from the farmer in Japan. And I try to buy organic vegetables as much as possible. I can buy them in the supermarket, but it's not fresh and it's not really, it's a little bit expensive. And I, if I buy, buy them from Fermo, it has more varieties of vegetables and it's very fresh, so I like them. So I mix together egg using chopsticks <laughs> for me it's easier to use chopsticks than a fork now the kimpira gobo is getting ready all the water content evaporated now i'm gonna put soy sauce. This is dark soy sauce. I already put just only sake and mirin, the sweet rice wine, and sugar. No salt. So at the end I put salt. At last I put sesame seeds, white wine. We have black sesame seeds and white sesame seeds. And I chose white sesame seeds for that, just for coloring reasons. I think I could put black, <coughs> but white sesame seeds. And when you put sesame seeds, you uh, put a little pressure when you put it with your two fingers. It makes Sesame seeds smells better, nice smell. Now I taste a little bit. Okay, tastes good. Salty, it's sweet. I think it's done. Now I'm gonna make um, spinach 
and corn, stir fried, I always try to put something yellow, something green, something red into bento. Oh, these three colors make bento colorful. Looks tasty. But putting uh, vegetable into bento is a little bit tricky because my daughter uh, she likes vegetables, but not all of them, so I t try to put something that she can eat. I try to make a bento that she uh, can be looking forward to, enjoy eating it when they open. This is corn, it's frozen, because it's not in the season. Uh, this is corn from Hokkaido, northern part of Japan. Through this video, you will see that I try to use products in Japan as much as possible. Even though we see many food products from all over the world, even the fresh vegetables, but I try to eat uh, products uh, domestically obtained. So this is spinach and corn, uh, stir fry with uh, butter. We call it orenso no batayaki. Orenso is a spinach. Batayaki is uh, grilled with stir fried with the butter. This is pretty typical dish. Put some salt taste. And it's done. I think they're very colorful. And it tastes better. It's good. Now I taste it a little bit. It's good. It's ready. So now I cooked kimpira gobo and spinach and corn. This is oil made of rice I like to use for my dish. Now I'm gonna make tamagoyaki. This is a little bit difficult. It takes practice, but if you do enough, you can make it. Usually you put little egg and roll it, and put a little bit more, roll it again, a little bit more. That's how you make it typically. But I just pour everything once and I roll it. I think not many people do like this. And I put some mozzarella cheese from Hokkaido, again, the northern part of Japan. The milk is from Japan. Cheese is optional, yeah. you don't need to put it, but 
I make bento every day. I pretty much make this omelette every day. So I try to make different types of oh, tamagoyaki every day. So now this is the tricky part. Let's get it there. Nicely done. I'm satisfied. Inside is still raw, so I steam a little bit. I put in a lid on it. Now I'm gonna make chicken, grilled chicken, chicken saute. I think this is not a Japanese food, but. I cut uh, some like, leftover bone, hard skin, stuff like that. Again, I use the rice oil. Rice oil has no smell or taste, so I like it. And it's good for you. First, I'm gonna put chicken's skin side down. Low heat. First, I don't uh, put fire first. I put fire later. some salt and flip over and I grill like the salt you can hear salt are making noise It takes time, so I think I should fast forward. I take off all the excess oil. I take all the excess oil because the oil gets very hot and I don't like the smell of burned oil. If you cook the chicken with the burned oil, the chicken also smells like burned oil. So I try to take off all the excess oil as much as possible. Now the egg omelette. Okono, uh, no. Tamagoyaki is ready. So to shape it a little bit, I wrapped with a paper towel. Has a nice color to it. Now, tamagoyaki is ready to be cut. And I'll show you some tricky trick that my daughter enjoy. Show some love. You see? Heart. 
So chicken's almost ready. Skin's pretty crispy. I think it's ready. Give extra crust at the end and it's ready to go. Now rice is cooked. Mix a little bit. Take out a little some dim moisture. Now it's ready to put bento. This is lunch box that we have. I use. Uh, this is made of uh, wood. You observe the uh, moisture content. This bento box, this lunch box. So I use them often. Yeah, it looks good. It's pretty. It's cute. This is for my wife. The one behind it is for my daughter. First, I put kimbira goba. Kimbira gobo. Kimbira gobo can you can eat for like three or ten. So you can use it for bento for tomorrow as well. Now spinach and corn. This is something that you can use for next day. So I usually serve them for breakfast. Over. Now I'm gonna put tamagoyaki in the shape of a heart. A little bit difficult to put it in, but I'll do my best. Tamagoyaki is done. Leftover is for breakfast. I have two daughters. The youngest one uh, goes to uh, kindergarten, so she doesn't have a bento, so I, I can put them in breakfast for my youngest daughter. Now, chicken is ready to be cut. Nice and crispy. You can hear my daughter's voice. Oh, she, I think she awake. Youngest one is awake. She always wakes up early. I try to make a lunchbox before she wakes up, otherwise she will speak to me, ask me questions, ask me. Favor and 
cannot work on them too. So almost done. At the end, I put umeboshi on the top of the rice. Umeboshi is uh, some, it's a plum, which is very uh, salty and sour. I put them because it's now getting, it's almost chilly, and it's warm and humid. And if you put umeboshi, it will protect the bento from getting bad. And it's done. This is my first video making bento for my daughter and my wife. I hope to share this bento culture of Japan to all of you in the world. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.